if you become serious about learning something meaningful, then it will naturally ooze out of you. Uh, the problem in the, in the age of content creators and influencers and speakers is that you're constantly looking for content to deliver, but not for your own nurturing, for, to nurture your following. And that's a sickness. What advice would you give aspiring <laughs> Islamic speakers, women? <laughs> so my, my advice is unconventional, but since you asked, my dear, I'm going to give you on my honest opinion. Um, uh, there's, a, there's an axiom in Arabic, I really like it. Uh, container pours out what it contains. So uh, if you become serious about learning something meaningful, then it will naturally ooze out of you. Uh, the problem in the, in the age of content creators and influencers and speakers is that you're constantly looking for content to deliver, but not for your own nurturing, for, to nurture your following. And that's a sickness. Um, if you become a serious learner, um, for me, that was Quran. I was, when I was 19, I, I'm still studying Quran. I, that, it hasn't worn off the desire to study the Qur'an. And I, f I feel like I'm just getting started. Honestly, that's how I feel like. But whatever I do learn, I like to share passionately because it moves me, it, it, it uh, inspires me, right? So if you, uh, and, and I don't, it's hard to believe, but I never aspired to be a speaker. Uh, but I just really wanted to learn this stuff. And I found out that I, when I, when I talk about it, I remember it better. And when I talk about it, it demonstrates to me that I properly understood it, right? So like, you know how the best students in a class become tutors, right? It's kind of that formula. So then I, I, I gave myself a formula, and that formula was, I'm not going to learn to teach, I'm going to teach to learn, right? So I reverse engineered that formula, and then I'm, I'm by, by I, you, one has to know themselves, um, I think I have a relatively good understanding of myself. I'm incredibly lazy. I'm like, it's, it's uh, uh, almost supernatural how lazy I am. So what I do is I put myself in a position of teaching at some point in the future, giving myself a deadline for how much I have to study. There's no way, if I'm not, if I'm not under pressure, I don't study. So, and I better study it well enough that I can teach it, right? So that's the, that's the formula. The other thing I'll tell you is that I'm, I've been doing this a long time, so I have a certain amount of fame and certain amount of public speaking experience, which means even if I was speaking out of thin air and I had no idea what I was talking about, I can sound very compelling. I'm good at selling emptiness because what, what, because style, style can compensate for substance. Right? So if I didn't study for three years, four, five years, and I just gave talks every week, I could still give a talk. And I'd still have a following. But that would be a serious problem because now my motivations are others. They have nothing to do with me. Right? I'm, I'm teaching you guys r less than three hours a day. Behind each of those three hours, there's at least 20 hours to 25, 30 hours of my work. Right? That's, uh, that's not for you, that's for me, right? And then, I'm, then the last part of it, the hardest part of it is, how do I take this 30 hours of stuff and shave off things and reduce things so that it can fit, that you can get it, right? So that, that's the last part. But for, for anybody who's serious about contributing, just know that the world doesn't need more uh, hyperbole. The world needs more substance. And there's a lot of hyperbole, a lot of like, people that think they have interesting hot takes that the world needs to hear, but they're not, they're not rooted in anything s s real. They're not really studying anything, right? And we're just adding to the, the contamination on, uh, of noise <laughs> that's already there, right? So there, the, be, be a person of substance. That's what my best advice could be, is be a person of substance.